So the one thing that we've seen is, is that this is digital warfare. We've seen that unless you are winning on the digital battlefield, you're not going to be found and you're going to be overtaken by your competitors. It's a constant journey. It's like flying an aeroplane, you know. If you keep your foot on the gas, you'll keep going forwards. If you take it off, you're going to go down. Um, and you have to look at it like that. Why are we different? I, I guess the story um, is that we go beyond technology and we just don't focus on, on what the infrastructure looks like. We try and go beyond that conversation and actually looking at the business value and how can we can increase a company's worth and, and proposition through using technology. How do we engage with the customers? How do we then delight them? And then how do we, we constantly sell more strands to them? It's also around that whole life cycle experience of the customer. Um, to constantly share success and stories and, and, and plant um, ideas of how we can help them and, and suggest ways that they can do business with us that they hadn't considered. So we have different messages for different stages of the life cycle of our customers. We had to think a long time around personas, really being honest with ourselves um, and honest with our businesses because not always the customers we're dealing with um, are the makeup of the ones that we want to deal with going forward. It's a constant challenge for us, coming up with new content, content that's engaging, content that, that sets us apart from everybody else, giving away more information than I would normally would, actually, because it has a positive effect. And that honesty and that transparency um, is indicative of what we are as a business, so it's really important. They can understand that we have a personality. They understand that we are uh, become part of their digital lives. We talk about the why of what we do. Hopefully people will connect with that brand. If we're talking enough about their industry and their pains, um, they will come to us. Lead nurturing, you know, when we looked into it, was absolutely utopia for us. We saw that we could create a journey, a framework to engage with customers that didn't mean the salespeople had to do it that we had this engine that would unlock opportunities for us and, and rise to the surface when they're ready. I'm really proud to say that this year we've given birth to our first million dollar baby. So this was someone who found us on a hashtag on Twitter, engaged with our content, came onto our website, dropped into our nurture journey by downloading a white paper that was relevant to them. They then called us. So that's blown all of my ROI. I mean, all of the, all of the people in the company now, I believe, I believe. 